What a sweet little guy. Like, he's so weak he can barely even stand, let alone walk. He must be exhausted, but he just won't lay down in his kennel and sleep, which I'm sure he hasn't had a warm bed or a soft blanket for a long time. He was brought in by an animal control officer just as a stray. He weighs 18 pounds, and he's about five to six months old. He has just completely grabbed my heart from the beginning. It's just those eyes and the fact that, I mean, honestly, no matter what you're doing, he's just sitting in his kennel, just staring completely contently at you, just waiting, wanting to know when you're, when, you know, when you're planning on coming over next and just petting him. When I got here this morning, there was a box sitting in front of our admissions door and so I went to get the box and there were four kittens that were barely moving because it was so cold this morning. 40, 45 degrees is cold, isn't, isn't that cold for us, but it's very cold for maybe a week and a half to two week old kittens. I figured maybe another 45 minutes and they probably would have died. Are you are dying? Yeah, you don't want any more. They will probably be in okay. the vet clinic until tomorrow. I believe our foster coordinator has found a home for them, um, someone who is willing to take the time to bottle feed them. They'll need to be fed every two hours. He just walked up to me and put his head on my leg, and I'm just like, this, this little guy knows he needs help. Relax. You know, because we needed to put boy. some sort of makeshift tourniquet on this dog to slow that bleeding. We need to get that dog to surgery right away. Uh, it looks like somebody had shot him right in the elbow with a three-point uh, broadhead arrow, one that you would use, you know, in uh, deer hunting or those sorts of things. And the, the best thing for him was to go ahead and get the leg removed at this time. Um, everything went really good. Our hopes are really high. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be checking on him through the night, giving him a little more pain medicine to keep him comfortable, and uh, hopefully by tomorrow he'll be uh, up and feeling pretty good. It's been about three weeks. He's doing fantastic. He's looking really strong. He's up to 36 pounds, which is good. Hi, Mr. Man. Hello, handsome man. Hi, Bubba. Hello, mister! He loves to be outside. Um, he loves to be around other dogs. We take him to the bark park quite a bit. He really enjoys playing with other dogs. He's truly a puppy at heart, and I think I can really tell he's starting to feel a lot better. He sit. Good boy. He's passed all of his tests. He's really healthy, so we moved him to the adoption floor, and he is ready to be adopted. Kristen told me that they had had four kittens delivered that didn't even have eyes open yet. And um, they were hoping that the mother cat that we were already fostering with four kittens would be willing to accept them because that was their best chance of making it. They looked terrible when we got them. They just, they looked like they'd had a rough start. And we wondered if we would keep them alive. Uh, but they've really, they've just blossomed and, and seem to be happy, content little kittens. It's that one grain of sand type philosophy, but if there's one, one puppy, one kitten, one mother animal that we can help make sure that they have a better chance at, at a good healthy adoption, then, then it's worth it. Everything has gone really well for him. I think within a week he'll be uh, an adoption candidate. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Attention Wayside Waves, we have fantastic news. Our favorite dog, Champ, is going home. Hip, hip. Hooray, guys. When I drove up and saw this facility, I was blown away because I don't know how many of these exist that are this spectacular uh, in the United States because a lot of the shelters that I've served in are rinky-dink mobile homes tucked away on a back lot and you know we can barely keep anything clean or sanitary and and so a lot of the dogs that come in in this kind of state you don't have the medical care the facility the vets to properly 
handle a trauma case such as he had. Collectively, maybe we can make a difference. <laughs>